What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the team. Fashionable's YouTube channel. This is round number eight of the Limitless Online Tournament Series. Uh, this time around, we are playing against a crazy, insane Mewtwo box deck. I think this is like the... Uh, Another version of the ultimate Mewtwo, right? So use Mewtwo Perfection to copy any attacks you want to. And as you see, there is a ton of different guys in here to attack with. My opponent used Tyranitar GX with the Dusty Ruckus. 130, this attack does 30 damage to each of your opponent's bench Pokemon. I laid the smack down, does 220. This attack damage isn't affected by any effects in your opponent's active Pokemon. He played ADP for the Alter Creation. Most likely just the Alter Creation to do the extra 30 and take an additional price card. Nagandel GX for that Venom Shot to hit a Pokemon on the bench for 170. We have to discard two energies. There's a Guardian and Sylveon uh, for the Kaleido Storm at 150. And you can move any number of energy from this Pokemon to your other Pokemon any way you like. This is really cool because if your Mewtwo is about to be knocked out, you can Kaleido Storm, move your energies off to a bench Mewtwo. There's Reshiram and Charizard GX. For that double blaze, it does do 200. It has extra three energies to it. It does an additional 100 more damage. And it isn't affected by any effects your opponent's active. Also, Flare Strike is a strong 230 damage attack. There is the Dini, of course. Well, this is not to attack with, but to use Data Change. Uh, Raichu to Lolan Raichu. The Tandem Shot can be very strong here. Do it 160. Paralyze it. And Lightning Ryan GX. Oh, that's, that's a little hard to do. Five energies uh, to do an extra 100, 100 damage and switch the bench to the active. It would be cool. Uh, max is 250. It's not like a Picarom deck where you could boost it with uh, with good old Electro Powers. Is there or for that free retreat because you are playing those uh, colors or those like special type energies that count as any type of energy? So that free retreat's really great. Uh, so Galio GX for that Soul Burst. So you have an option of either Soul Bursting. Or use an ADP. That's probably like the two real GXs you want to use here. But be able to search your deck for five energy cards and attach them in your Pokemon any way you like. It's really good. Uh, Gengar and Mimikyu for that Poltergeist. You can punish your opponent if they have a ton of cards in their hand. Doing 50 times the amount of trainer card you find there. Which we know a lot of decks do play a bunch of trainer cards now. And Dini is good for that watch over to heal 20 damage from each reactive Pokemon. This can counter the... Um, like a Shrine of Punishment with the Mimikyu play. So they like Shrine with Mimikyu. You can like Indini them and get that off. So you can attack on Mewtwo. That's really cool. Also healing 20 damage in between turns. Could be really beneficial in the end. Uh, Latios for that Tag Purge. Make our Tag Team Pokemon can't hurt it. We know that Tag Teams were a big deal. Picarom was everywhere. So will Latios be enough to stop my Picarom deck? Um, Mewtwo and Mew, of course, that's our attacker. Trevenant and Dustin has got the Night Watch. 150, choose two Raiders cards from your opponent's hand and reveal those cards and shuffle them to the deck. Of course, does this deck play Marnie? Uh, yeah, it plays two, only two Marnie, so not too big of a deal. Uh, but maybe the Pale Moon could be the bigger reason why. Uh, making aware as as the end of your opponent's next turn that if any Pokemon will be knocked out, this Pokemon has at least one extra energy, uh, so I can attach to it in addition to the deck's cost. Discard energy from your opponent's act Pokemon. So that could be the big reason. As you can pal move them, get that quick knockout if need be. Grinja for that miss slash to get through if any uh, any effects are opponent's act Pokemon. This can help, of course, with Zigzagoon. And I think that's all the Pokemon. So yeah, there's a ton of Pokemon here. Really good. Uh, just really toolboxy Mewtwo deck. Uh, there's a lot to like remember in your deck list. A uh, boss order. We have uh, the, the Tag Call engine, of course, because we played a bunch of Tag Calls. We have Stealthy Hood to help out against Mimikyu as well, which is really cool. Uh, we have Counter. Uh, not Counter. Great Catcher, sorry. We're going to put to Bench Deactive. We have four Rainbow, four Aurora, and three or two Weakness Energy. So that is the Mewtwo deck. We'll see this here in action against Picarom right now. Alrighty, guys. So here we go. Round number eight. So by the time you saw this, I've explained his deck, but I have no idea what's happening right now in his world. Like, my mind is blown. I don't even know what all these cards do. There's a Titar. There's a Guardian Sylveon. Yo, there is so much stuff happening, and we're just going to wing it, I guess, man. Like, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> okay, he starts ADP. Okay, I guess that's what he wants to start. I... Okay. Zera Aura. Um, we can Electro, Quick Ball, Boss... For Ed Dinny, so Coco's in here, that's nice. Thunder Mountain's in here, that's nice. I should have took the Mars Shadows in here, but we'll go ahead and day day change. Yep. Draw some stuff. Um Which part's done right now? Oh, it's my opponent's turn. Um so we have options we can Eldegoss, a Mewtwo, and smack it. So that way 
we're ready to go kind of thing, you know? So Cherish Ball. Okay. Yo, if we can like smack a Mewtwo in the face, that would be really nice. Just like go ahead and just like bring it up, smack it. He doesn't play any Mallow Alana, so the only way he can heal is by using um, the GX attack, I guess. Yeah. King our Mimikyu's in here for Poltergeist, bro. Latios, GX, and DDDDD. Trevenant, and Dusnor, Greninja. Bro, there's so much happening, man. Uh, I'm proud of my opponent, man. And just, whew, whew, this is like an upgraded Ultimate Mewtwo deck. There's the Chaotic, okay. That's pretty good for him. Pretty good. There's a, so he's going to attack with the active? Is he going to ultimate with this guy? There's a Cynthia and Caitlyn just kind of weakness guard. I mean, is that the game plan to like 80 PS? I don't know, man. It sounds good. Huh. So we'll electromagnetic this card of lightning and Pika. I guess we just swing it to the active. Lightning and Pika. Yeah. We'll get the Choo Choo. Got the Coco. Okay. I got the Choo Choo. Right. Uh, I don't know if this Vitality Band matters or not. We'll put it on this. It makes it where we can, like, knock out Mewtwo and this, but they we're discarding our... We have all of... Uh, 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 why not? Shoot, uh, Dadini? Or not Dadini, whatever. Whatever it's called. Okay, we can Quick Ball a Lightning to get Marsh Shadow. Yeah. Well, Coco, Dance of the Agents, one here and here. And there and there. Mm, energy switch from the bench to the active. Put down Marsh Shadow. Uh, Sycamore. So we get the Lightning. We get the Marsh Shadow, but I'm going to hold it right now. We get Thunder Round plus Marsh Shadow. Right now, I'm just going to go with this. Tag Bolt. And put three on this guy. All right, on my opponent's turn. Mm, he's got Marnie. That's the only thing he can kind of manipulate her hand. There's an Aura Energy discarding of Galio. <clears throat> um, I mean, we can potentially win next turn. Right, double E power, snipe this guy. He did not play Mew, so that's good. Right, lightning the active, Thunder Mountain, or lightning, Marsh Shadow, Volkner for one of the E powers, and then Diddy, to Denny. Three, four, well I need a, an energy switch as well. Mm -hmm. I think we still do that, and then we just knock out the to Diaga, and do heavy damage to the Mewtwo. Which seems fine. Yeah. We just put so much pressure on turn two. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Um, yeah, I think we go for... Okay, just pass on our turn. Interesting. So, lightning here. Or so we can Volkner. So I'm scared if I play my stuff, they'll go in the bottom of the deck. So we'll Volkner just thin the deck out. We'll grab like Big Charm and Lightning. Okay. We'll Big Charm this. Oh, he disconnected. I was so confused. One, two, 
Three. <clears throat> Rainbow. I mean, I wonder what the rest of his hand is anyway. Soul Burst. And then one, two, three. And then, yeah, we can go for the Marshadow. Do we take like four price cards? Right? So we can go. One, two, three, four, five. We can go. Reset Hole. Uh, mountain. Lightning, Electro Power, Volkner, um, Electro Power, Tag Bowl? Yep, 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 yep. I mean, I don't, I don't think, he, I wonder what his hand was. Like, I still think we were so far ahead that it didn't matter. But, like, it's unfortunate that he disconnected. It's one part of playing online. Uh, but, like, I think we were so far ahead in the beginning, it didn't really matter. Uh, but, yeah, now we are 5-3. and three. We have to win four more. So, we'll see what happens. Alrighty, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Alrighty, bye.